So please be aware guys that this is a really early build of the game and what you will witness may not reflect the full game on release. So guys I am back with another first descendant video and today I'm going to showcase to you guys the weapons of this game. Now I know watching the trailers you're probably thinking are weapons even needed with the amount of abilities you have in this game? I can confirm guys weapons are a major major part of the game and today I will explain all. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, I want to think, I want to add this as well. I am on a boosted account, uh, which was given to me to actually showcase these kind of things to you. Um, so I'm on a place here, I'm on a plan. I can't actually go to anywhere solo uh, where it's actually fair. These enemies are just going to get absolutely smacked by these weapons. Uh, but I can guarantee you guys when you start the game and the way you level up, I don't know how I'm flying there, but either way, <laughs> when you level up, it's not this easy. I mean, it's pretty hard. You need to use your abilities. You need to use your weapons. It's all majorly, majorly important. But yes, the weapons. Firstly, like I said, I was probably like you watching a trailer thinking, do you need, do you need weapons with all these abilities? Are they that necessary? Yes, they are. They really are. And they play a major role and they feel real real good they really do i'm just gonna go and start a mission around here and just kill a few enemies and just show you i mean like i said this is an early 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 beta guys this is a beta so i expect things to only improve but they're quite good at the minute we have got to go down here okay let's go down here i will say as well guys and i'll showcase you in a minute there's a lot you can do with weapons in regards to making them more powerful for your build. I don't know if you saw my rune video. Um, but there's a lot you can do to make weapons much, much better. As, as well as where weapons are obtained from, they can drop uh, from enemies. You can be rewarded them for doing missions, planetary missions, uh, quests. You can even buy them from a vendor within the social area, which is the Albion, the first one you'll come to. Um, but yes, what it actually the loot in this game reminds me of Borderlands. You get so much of it, it is unbelievable. There is an absolute ton of loot in this game, and the reason I say it's like Borderlands is because it just drops all the time. Now, the good thing about that is, guys, is because you can take those weapons if you don't need them to the vendor and break them down and get important materials for them. I don't know what that dude is doing. Don't you dare blow up on me. There you go. Right there, guys. We have a nice weapon. Don't need it. I'll break it down, get materials, use to upgrade other things. Now, I'm using this weapon here. What's this here? Should probably showcase you the weapons. I will in a minute. I've got fully maxed out weapons, guys, which are badass. SMG is a bit of a, a monster, but it does recoil all over the place. Shot, oh, shotguns as well. Shotguns are brutal. What are you doing up there? Come down. Boom, bitch! Ah, oh, do you over? Don't know where I'm going on here. Boom! Yeah, these are just, it's just, everything's one tapping them. Everything's just one tapping them. Oh, yeah, back to the weapons. My favorite by far uh, that I've used in the beta are hand cannons. Hand cannons just feel so crisp. They're powerful. They're beautiful. I'll put one on actually. Let me show you. Uh, where's my baby? I've got one. I'll come back to this in a minute, guys. Show these. No, it's not that one. It's not that one. Where are you? This one, yeah. It's a cool weapon. It's a cool weapon. Look at that power. Boom. Loving it. Loving it. I am playing the controller, by the way. I'm useless, mouse and keyboard, guys. Forgive me. Forgive me. And my PC is poor, man. I need to upgrade it. I really do. I really do. Okay, so there's nothing here. I can just showcase you the weapons we have. Okay, so there are quite a few lot of weapons here. There's assault rifles, scout rifles, snipers, tactical rifles, there's submachine guns, there's hand guns, hand cannons, there's beam rifles, there's grenade launchers, there's rocket launchers. I've probably missed a few. And they drop, like I said, from enemies. You can be rewarded these, you can buy these, whatever. Can also level them up through their proficiency level which i haven't done yet i haven't played with a single weapon long enough to do that i'm not sure what happens when you get to a level two but i'm guessing it increases its stats but you can make weapons a lot 
more powerful and I mean a lot more powerful way. It's to do with the runes. Now, I made a video talking about runes and what they do to this game. Actually, they are the basis. They are the foundation of your build in this game. You got weapon runes and you have your descendant rune, your player rune. Now, we obviously have a video about weapons. Um, I'll showcase to you and talk to you what these do. Now, like I said, I've made a video talking about runes and explaining exactly what they do. If you want to check that out, you'll find it on my channel. And if I remember, I'll link it down below. Okay, so I've got a... Assault Rifle, uh, Submachine Gun, and a Hand Cannon. I'm just going to put on another weapon here. You can see all the kinds of different weapons here as well. And look how bad they look. We've got a Beam Rifle. We have a Scout. We have a Launcher. We have another Launcher. We have quite a few things, guys. There's so much. There's so much here. Yeah, you know, you just, you get it. You get it. Look how cool they look. What we'll say as well. Everything else. There's three rarities. There is a, what I'll call Legendary, Epic, and Rare. I ain't seen no legendary weapons in the beta, so I'm guessing they are hiding them for the full game. They must be super, super rare, or they could be aim game rewards. Either way, these are the weapons we have right now, and this is what we can do with them. So, back to the runes. So, we have runes. We have a storm rune, a taunt rune, wave, thunder, and haze. Each one of these runes affects individual weapon types. So, we have... Uh, the Storm Rune, as you can see on the left hand side, it affects submachine guns, assault rifles and hand handguns. We have the Torrent, affects machine guns, tactical rifles and beam rifles. We have Wave, hand cannons and scouts, Thunder, snipers and launchers and we have Haze, which is shotguns. I'm just going to remove all these so I can explain to you what these do. So your runes, um, basically they are individual buffs you can earn, find, reward, buy whatever which affect said weapons so for this the storm room we have five slots and we or actually start with five slots i have seven my other character i've got five as you upgrade you'll get uh, extra slots here we also have a capacity you know where i'm going don't you so individual runes we'll start with the lower ones because you probably ain't going to have any of them where you're playing the game early on you can see here what these do are this one um decreases recoil this one here Adds flame attack equal to 3.3% of weapon attack. We have here adds electrical attack. This one here adds demonic attack. This one here yeah, critical chance is a plus 3.5%. As you can see, there's plenty. There's some ones. There's some guys that are actually the brutal words that one I was looking at. This one here, an enemy kill. Attack is a plus 40 for 10 seconds. This is, this effect stacks three times. Craziness. But yes, either way, these you can apply. As you can see, there is a icon and a number next to them. So the icon, forget about for now. The number, if I select that, you can see it uses three of my 35 capacity. I've got seven slots here with 35 capacity. So I ain't going to be able to use seven of the 15s. That just ain't going to work, is it? No, it ain't. So yes, that's what we have. I mean, if you think about it as well, it's, it's going to make you think. It's going to make you think carefully of what you can do. Now you can, if you want to, you can equip a a submachine gun and a assault rifle and a handgun at the same time, just like so. And what this will do is these seven buffs I have here will affect all three of these weapons. So you won't even have to worry about any of these because obviously you ain't using any of the weapons these are accustomed to. So yeah, this one, this these seven here or five when you start will affect all weapons, which is quite cool. So yeah, keep that in mind. And there's, like I said, some crazy buffs you can do here. I mean, we ain't even touched the basis, uh, the, the basic shit. We, I don't think we have. Okay, so the icons, the icons there. As you can see, these are actually things you can apply via getting materials, going to a vendor within the Albion social space, and you can apply these symbols to your rune slots. They cost that certain material. What they do is, as you can see, this here looks like an A. So if you have a rune with that A symbol there, and you select it as you can see guys it only uses four even though it says eight it's only using four of that said capacity meaning you can apply say another one have we got one here which looks like a b that one there is that the same thing it looks like it that's a 15 but we can equip it because it's only using eight so that's pretty cool but to get all of these with that icon on it's going to take a lot of that material which i think is this one here yes it's this one here so yeah 
There's, there's, there's a lot you can do guys to your weapons to make them much more powerful. A lot to think about as well. And if I do go ahead and add a legend oyster, there's got to be legendary weapons in the main game. I can't imagine what people are going to do. And that's just for the weapons guys. It's also runes for your character as well. Which again, add so many things to make your character even more powerful. It's uh, abilities more powerful. So yeah, but this weapon, this video is about weapons. So we are going to stick to those weapons. And yeah, guys, that's it really. That's really all you need to know. Weapons are amazing. They're super, super important. They look absolutely badass. I should have show you a few of the bigger ones. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. I think I may have a beam rifle. Yeah, I do. Right there. The beam rifle is basically like a trace rifle. A Ghostbusters gun. Quite powerful as well, by the way. We also have my beautiful assault. But this launcher here, which I'm not going to lie. It was too slow for me in my normal playthrough, not on this boosted character, because you get absolutely bombarded by enemies. I mean, and because the reload ain't so slow, which again, you can buff with those runes. It just wasn't efficient for me this one actually you know this one because it's a level 40 it's got five in its mag my actual one obviously only had it was a low level so it only had one in its mag so this is actually way more efficient ignore what i just said boom <laughs> cool but yes guys weapons are super important in this game um and i can't wait for the full game release to see what you guys come up with builds or this and the other but there we have it guys hopefully i think you need to know if you are confused about anything you can hit me up on my twitter which is linked down below uh, but there we have it guys guys if you enjoyed the video leave a like it really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more first send it be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one